There we go, welcome to another session. This is James Middick speaking from Training Sites IO. And today what I wanna do is I just wanna go over the little change we're making at my Pickleball Friends. Now of course, what is that change? Well, we had LearnDash installed, which is a learning management system or learning management software, a way to deliver the courses for the Pickleball players, people who are interested in Pickleball. And the idea was that I would create courses and or put some courses in from other vendors or other experts. And one of the things that we ran into, of course, is that there's not an easy way or a built-in way to take care of multiple instructors in LearnDash. Now, there's a couple other ways of doing it, uh, specifically by getting some add-ons to LearnDash. There's one by, uh, I think it's called Wisdom Labs, which has a plugin that can be added to uh, LearnDash. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to have something kind of built in. So one of the other videos, I introduced another plugin that is specific to WordPress again for uh, delivering online courses. And that one was called Tutor LMS. Now, the thing that's interesting with Tutor LMS, of course, is that that particular plugin has a built in way to actually have these courses available. So here's what I do. I'm just going to show you uh, kind of the back end here, what we're looking at. On mypickleballfriends.com, you can see across the top the black ribbon. I'm uh, uh, in live as administrator, I'm logged in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click the dashboard here. We'll go to the dashboard in the background. And uh, in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you some of the little pieces that we have here. And specifically on the left-hand side, you can see LearnDash is there, it's installed, but I've got Tutor LMS installed as well. And in this case, you can see I have the free version of Tutor LMS, um, which allowed me to play around with it, you know, understand how it works, take a look at it, get used to it. And I didn't get the pro version yet. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna get it installed and show you how it works. Now, the part, if I go to the add-ons here, that lets me know some of the additional add-ons that are ones that uh, are, these ones are ones that uh, are with the paid version, but they give me an idea of some of the different pieces that are available as I'm playing around with this. So which ones are those? The first thing we're gonna take a look at is course bundles, which allows us to bundle courses, of course. There's a real nice one here, which is social logins. One of the big problems with any of the WordPress sites is the ability to log in and keep track of usernames and passwords across all of the different uh, plugins and tools that you have, but more importantly, to stop spam. And using social logins is a, is a real benefit in that respect. Um, but on the right-hand side, Tutor Multi-Instructors. So you see the little lock there, available in Pro? That's one of the things that we're doing. The other thing is that's really, really nice with this one is it does have the Zoom set up and working with it a grade book, the certificates, all of the different things that uh, we're looking for are available there. And of course, we're using Buddy Boss on this particular site. And the great thing about Buddy Boss is they just release, uh, release pardon me, uh, uh, integration with Tutor LMS. So I'm hoping to install this one now. Reason, of course, that we're doing it is I wanna have multiple instructors on the site. I wanna be able to have uh, a lot of different instructors putting their own content in. And because we have WooCommerce installed, we're gonna be able to pay some of these instructors uh, by having them sell their courses on our site. So that's where we're at. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll just go take a look here. I may have to blur this out, of course, as we're going. I'm just gonna to upgrade to Pro. We're gonna get there and you'll see some of the prices that are available to us. So let's take a look at those just so that you see those. We have um, agency, business, individual, and basic. The free basic one is there. We also have the ability on this one, if I'm not mistaken, to do it yearly. Uh, there's the one annual or lifetime. So lifetime is a little bit different. We're gonna do it uh, annually. Uh, it's $199. So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, actually, if you wanna go look at this, I'll put the link below uh, for you, but this has all of the details that are available, uh, the difference between the paid version and the pro version. And the big ones are, uh, I think the multi-instructor, some of the drip content, which I don't normally use, um, especially when there are micro courses and mini courses, not necessarily a, a huge, huge course. Uh, but 
that ability to have reporting and multiple instructors and all the different things that go around that, I think that's uh, really, really important. And the certificates, I think with my pickleball friends, people are gonna be interested in gamification and certificates. So we're gonna be able to use that one uh, as well. So let's go take a look at this now. I'm gonna go and buy it and we'll uh, activate it. So, oh, I already have the free, pardon me. Don't wanna use that one. So I'm gonna cancel that. Let's go back and do the paid one. We'll do an individual one by now. It's only for single domain. If I was gonna do multi-domain, which I'm not gonna do yet because I don't have other sites I wanna use this one on. We've been using LearnDash. I would ch check this one for 10 site licenses. I'm just gonna do one, so let me go buy that and we'll fill in all the details here. Let's go take a look here at the screen so you can see it. And there's the screen again. So I'm logged in, I've got my license keys, the paid subscription yearly. You can see I have two downloads. One is the actual plugin um, for an individual site. This is the pro version. And then they have the certificate builder, which is another plugin that they've given me uh, as well. So I'm just gonna go and download the latest. And we'll go and put it in one of the folders that we have here. And we're going to go, and I have a folder for all our plugins and downloads and master themes. So we're going to go put that one here. And again, these are all actual plugins that you get to use if you are uh, one of our paid members of our agency. You get access to all of the our complete library uh, of licensed uh, plugins we get to put and use on your site. So I'm just gonna go save that in with our plugin masters and I might as well do the same thing with the certificate builder just while I'm here. I'm not gonna install that one yet, but it's gonna be uh, available. So let's go back to the site right now and you can see that these are all the add-ons that were in the, in the free version. So let's go and install. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard here. On the left-hand side, you can see I'm in the dashboard. I'm gonna go down to plugins. Scroll down a little bit. And I'm going to look at installed plugins and I'm going to do two things. Remember I showed you that I had LearnDash installed and active as well as I was testing these out and looking at them. What I am going to do is I'm going to deactivate LearnDash so it isn't an active plugin first. And let's go down and see this. Where's LearnDash? Down a little bit further. You can see we got a lot of different pieces on here. Uh, let's go down and see where's LearnDash. There's LearnDash. So I'm going to these ones, the licensing and management one, I'm gonna go do those two first. I'm just gonna deactivate those ones so that they're no longer active on the site. I'm gonna keep them installed for now just as we're playing around, but we don't need them, so they're not active at this point. And you can also see on this one, and I'm gonna keep it active right now, I already do have the Tutor LMS is still available here. so. It has upgrade to pro, but if I do that, it's gonna bring me to the billing system again. So what I'm gonna do is on the left-hand side, I can add a new plugin. And I hit that, and I'm gonna have the ability to normally search through the available public uh, plugins that are available through WordPress. But in my case, I've got one already, I just downloaded it. So I'm gonna use the upload plugin button here, and I'm going to choose my file. And I should be able to go back to where I was before, oh, which is, uh, where's our plugins? Uh, plugins and downloads, sorry. We're gonna go plugin masters, and on this one, we're gonna go down and take a look at the Tutor LMS Pro, and we're gonna open that one and install it. So I've selected it, I'm gonna click install, and let's see what happens. I believe, Again, we'll see what happens. I don't know which one this does, whether it replaces and or complements. You have to have both the, pay, the paid pro version and the regular one installed. We'll just see what happens. And I get that going. I'm gonna activate it. Plugin installed successfully. And let's see what happens. It's active, there we go. I'm gonna get rid of some of these warnings. Uh, please check license. So I'm gonna go in. Now don't look. Let's hide this again for a second. I'm gonna hide this so you don't see it. Don't look, I'm gonna put my key in. Connect my license key. I put my license key in. And congratulations! We're good to go. 
connect with license key, get the license key, we're all set there, expires. Okay, let's go back and see where we're at. So in this case, I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. Uh, I'm on the dashboard, if you look on the left-hand side, I used to have Learn Dash there, now I don't. And you can see I also have Tutor LMS Pro is available. Now let's double check on the add-ons and see if I have to manually add those ones. And looks like I do. So I wanna turn on or activate multi-instructors. I wanna turn on the content drip. I'm not gonna use a social login yet. We'll get to that in a bit. Course bundles, I'm not gonna worry about at this point. I wanna make sure that we can put attachments in so the instructors, if they have a PDF or additional things that are required. Uh, course preview, yeah, we're gonna allow previews. So someone may wanna be able to give some lessons uh, or free lessons or at least access to free lessons as part of a course. These ones I'm not gonna do yet. The Google Meet and uh, the uh, uh, reports I'm not gonna do yet. The email for events I'm not gonna do and the calendar. Now this one's an interesting one and we'll spend some details on this uh, a little bit later is normally I use a plugin for live workshops and events. Tutor LMS actually has a calendar built into it that is tied to the courses so that an instructor or uh, multi-instructors can actually create events associated with their course. So we'll do that as a separate one. That's where the calendar is. Notifications, great idea. Zoom integration we'll get to. Quiz import and export, more important than you think about, uh, we'll find out there. Um, enrollments, control, enroll the student manually. I'm gonna put that one in because there's always times when you wanna give uh, people access to free and not have them go through everything. Buddy Press, we'll leave about grade book certificates. Yes, absolutely, we're gonna activate that and we'll put the builder in, builder in later. And then the other part that I have is WordPress or WooCommerce subscriptions. I don't have the subscriptions plugin for this site. I don't plan on having it uh, as a subscription model. It's the instructor says, hey, here's my course, pay for access for the course. So that's how we're gonna do it uh, moving forward, a one payment access to the course. So I don't need the subscriptions one. If I was building a campus with Tutor LMS, this is an excellent feature because it's one of the ways that allows us to create a membership site approach or a way to have recurring income on a regular basis. Okay, so let's go take a look at this now. I'm gonna go back to, let's go back to courses because I actually have a course in that we did before. Discover Pickleball, the ultimate beginner's guide. This is the first course that we did. And if I open that up, you're gonna see that we have a complete description of the course, a link to it here, We've got some featured images, and the course builder's right here. Now I'm gonna go over in detail how the course builder works, but the important thing is, is I now have the ability to have other instructors put their content up and have a profile available so that they can uh, refer people to the site now, have them purchase their course and know who they are and what their skill and expertise is and, and background on them. And they're gonna be able to do it from the front end as an instructor. So I don't have to give them access to the admin panel here to put their course in. They're gonna be able to just log in as a regular user, but they'll have a little bit different access where they're from the very, very front end uh, of the site, just with their regular login, they're gonna be able to add their content and add their course content, which is great. So got all my information there. We've got some course settings are available, whether it's for beginners, for example, if we limit students, uh, public course, no enroll, en uh, enrollment guard. We wanna make sure that people have to uh, register their names here. And also a Q&A for the course. Think of this as a built-in discussion forum. So even though we have discussions with groups here, where people are a club or an association or perhaps a vendor and an open forum, this actually enables sections for the course and allows the people taking the course have a direct conversation uh, with the instructor. Okay, uh, we're in good shape here. We got everything here. Hey, look at this, certificates, very, very sharp. We'll be able to uh, play around with those ones. Right now, we'll just uh, keep it the way it is until I play around with it and get that one next. We'll do another video on. Uh, we're gonna do a paid course.
I'm going to select a product. This is where we're going to have to do a product. I don't know if I have one. No, we don't. So I got to put one in. So I'll leave it at free for this point. Now, the interesting thing for this one is, even though I marked it as free, because we had it set in the settings here, where they had make this course uh, public, be, it's still free, but people still have to register to be part of the site. So this is one of those things about actually uh, having it so that you're in a position where you can uh, build your list and get people started on the site by using or giving away a free course. And in fact, that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to keep it free. We're not going to sell it this first course we're doing, but people still have to log in to do it. They have to become a member. They have to have access uh, either from the desktop version of the site, the tablet, or if you have a mobile app and you want to install our mobile app, you can access the course from the mobile app as well. So I'm going to go back to the top here. Let's take a look at the course and see what happens. Uh, let's update this first. See what happens when we're looking uh, at the course. Now, I'm kind of excited about this because it is a big part of uh, what I wanted to do. And when we look at this, the one part that's going to be missing, of course, is I haven't added the connection between uh, Buddy Boss and the courses, but it looks really good right off the start. We've got a particular course here. Uh, we've got course info. We've got some reviews that are available. There's the Q&A I was talking about. Oh, I better show the screen. Pardon me. Let's do that as well. I'll add that back to the screen here. Here's the, here's the actual screen here we're looking at. I've got Discover Pickleball. You can see we've got the featured image, the course info, which is that description of the actual course where you would have the syllabus, uh, who it's for, that kind of thing. Uh, we've got some reviews that I haven't put in yet. Uh, question and answer, that's the one I was referring to where people can ask questions if they're enrolled in the course. Any announcements that I want to make as the instructor. An example might be a new lesson, an updated lesson, um, the availability of live coaching or anything else that's going on. And then resources. Think of resources as course materials. This might be a PDF, a link of a video, a checklist, images, something like that. And also on the right, and this is what Tutor LMS does a really good job of, you've got the ability to mark it. We marked it as a beginner course. How many people are enrolled? How long the course is? Um, when it was last updated? The certificate is included. And we've got continue learning and complete the course. Now this course has, uh, I think, 10 lessons and two quizzes. Who's me? Right there. Let's take a look and see what happens. This is going to go as my instructor profile. There we go. I haven't put any data in, but there's my instructor lesson and the courses that I put in. So even though I put multiple instructors in, doesn't mean it's one course for an instructor. You may have a course with two, five, ten courses. Think of this uh, as a, a real library for your campus or your ability to really have multiple instructors and take advantage of all of the great knowledge that's in a particular community. So we've installed this now. We've got the pro version uh, that's here. Let's go back to the dashboard. And we've got our dashboard activities, social groups, forums, and courses. These are all going to be added. And uh, I think this is an exciting time for the My Pickleball Friends course. And hopefully we're going to be in a position where we can actually take a look at this, work with this, and uh, I can now approach other people not only to become part of the free community, but I can approach other experts and give them an opportunity to take advantage uh, of, uh, of our site, the mobile app, and uh, all of the people that are going to be involved in it. So I hope you enjoyed this session. There's lots more coming. If you haven't already, visit trainingsites.io, which is our agency and our courses about how to build, start, uh, market your own particular training site or campus. If you haven't gone to my pickleball friends and you're a big fan of pickleball, make sure to do that. Uh, it's free to join. We got a mobile app and now there's courses starting to be added over and above our event calendars, all of our vendors, the other members, groups and activities are going on. So hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Expect the best. We'll be back with more great training.